Hello everyone, welcome to Swiss Technologies YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to uh, talk something about Docker Compose. What is Docker Compose? So Docker Compose is a tool for defining and running multi-container Docker applications. So this is one of the best example for explaining this Docker Compose here. So let me take any example of this kind of online shopping service like Amazon.com or Flipkart.com or Mintra.com. You can take any online shopping applications. So it has multiple modules like account service, product catalog service, cart service, order service, uh, user service, etc. Now in microservices, we have separate applications and separate database in all of these microservices. So here, all these separate databases and separate services, how we are going to manage. So that whenever we want to do any changes in this specific module, we do not touch other modules like scaling up or scaling down the containers and all. Suppose my product range has increased tremendously then what I have to do, I need a large number of database. So I just have to increase the size of product database and I will not be touching any other services. For addressing this issue, Docker Compose came into the picture. Now, this kind of application architecture, if you want to create with Docker Compose, uh, we can have some comments. I will show you those commands in a while. Like these are the Docker Compose things. Like this is a tool for defining and running the multi-container Docker applications. Just the example which I have been shown. So it uses a YAML file to configure application services. That YAML file is Docker Compose YAML file. And of course, we can start all services with a single command, Docker Compose app. And we can stop all services with a single command only, that is Docker Compose Stop. We can scale up selected services also when required. And of course, you might be thinking, before Docker Compose came into the picture, if you have all this kind of setup, we used to do each and every container manually. But with this single Docker Compose command, we can manage all the containers at once. Let's see this practically, then you will have clear idea on this. So here I'm ready with my instance. So here in this, I have installed Docker and as well as I have installed Docker Compose also. And I'm ready with the Docker Compose file also. Let me increase the font a little. So I hope you can see the font clearly. So just do this. I have Docker Compose file ready with me. Let me open this Docker Compose file. I have installed Docker Compose also in this. So. So in this Docker Compose file, I have kept some small basic things here. Like uh, I'm, I have just two, I have just kept two containers. One is web container and another one is database container. For web container, I'm using Nginx image. And for database container, I'm using Redis. Because it is a database container, which will come up very easily compared to other databases. That's why I have taken this one. So this is very basic application just for them. So here we need to include many more things like exposing port numbers, volume mapping, many more things we need to add here. Just for demo, I have taken two containers here. So let's try to uh, create Docker Composer here. For that, let me save this. Here, if you want to see the containers, command is docker ps, which will show all the containers. I'm having all these containers here. So what I will do, let me remove all these containers. But that command is docker rm. You can specify the container ID. First, we need to stop the container. That's what it is showing. For that command is docker stop. You can specify the container ID. That's all. Now you can remove the container. That's all. It's been removed. Now you can do Docker ps. Only one container I'm having. Let me stop this container also. Docker stop. Let me remove this container. 
that's all. Now let me do Docker PBS. That's all. I don't have any containers now. So in this Docker Compose file, I have kept some small two containers. One is web container and another one is database container. Let me try to create these containers with this single Docker Compose tool. So if you want to check configuration of this file, whether it is whether the syntax is correct or not, for that command is docker compose config. So syntax is validated. I mean, my syntax is correct. So let me run the commands. I mean, let me create containers. I have taken only one for container for database and one container for application, I mean, web application. So if you want to create these two containers in a single command, Command is docker compose up. You can specify hyphen D. D means detached mode. So these two containers will be created in this single docker compose command. So it is creating the containers done. So already I'm having images in my local machine. That's why it created the containers in fraction of seconds. If you don't have these images in your local, so it will pull the images from Docker Hub and then it is going to create the containers. Now, let us see the containers. Docker PS command will show all running containers. These are the containers. Let me delete the, clear the screen. Now, I will show you Docker PS. So, these are the containers. One is database container, that is Redis container, and another one is web application container, that is Nginx containers. Okay. Now, I want to uh, down these containers. For that command is docker compose down. That's all. These containers will stop. Check these things. Docker ps command will show only running containers. See, all these containers have been stopped. Now, here, I want to up the containers again. You can use docker compose up hyphen T. That's all. These containers will come in running state again. Verify using Docker PSC. These two containers are running. Now, what I want, I want to scale the containers here. I mean, I want uh, database containers to some, I, ha I have only one database container and one uh, web application container. I want to increase the database containers from one container to four containers. Let us assume. So how to scale these containers individually? So for that command is docker compose up hyphen t. You can use hyphen hyphen scale hyphen hyphen scale. You can specify the container, which container you want to increase. I want to increase database container. So from one number to four, that's all. You can give specific number. See, it is increasing the database containers to four. How to verify? Check Docker PS command will shows only running containers. See, I'm having four database containers. This is the way how we can scale all the containers at once and how we can create the multiple containers at once and how we can stop multiple containers at once using one single Docker Compose. And if you want to know further more about this Docker Compose, kindly join in Swiss Technologies. Don't forget to subscribe this channel, share this channel and comment if you have any doubts in this. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Thank you all.